Hey, what's up guys? Ryan from Little King Goods slash Little King Supply Co here. And I'm excited for you to be here today because if you're here, it's probably because of the QR code inside one of our brand new V2 pricking irons. Today I'm gonna talk about three things that will help you maintain the longevity of these tools and how to use them properly. We're gonna talk about use, we're gonna talk about punching pads, and we're gonna talk about maintenance. So let's get into it. If you've never used French style pricking irons or pricking chisels in this case, you'll probably notice that these teeth are very thin. And that is on purpose, obviously, for the aesthetic of the stitch. One thing that you gotta be careful of, no matter how strong the steel is or no matter how well made, these teeth can break. So I wanna talk to you a little bit about how to use this properly so that you're gonna keep your tool lasting very long. So I've just got a little mallet here and my pricking iron. And what we wanna do when we're pitting into the leather, we wanna make sure that we're going in straight, 90 degrees on both sides so it's perfectly parallel. And what you wanna do is when you're pulling out, you don't wanna wiggle them out. You don't wanna wiggle them side to side. So what you wanna do is pull up as much as possible. And you wanna pull up. You don't wanna do a wiggle side to side motion. You can kind of pull back a little bit, but you wanna make sure that you're coming out as straight as possible. Because if these are stuck in very deep leather and you're wiggling it out, they could break. So with any tool, we should use them for the way they're designed. So pulling straight out is definitely a must. Also, I think sometimes we're tempted to go so deep into the leather to make sure we make it all the way through. But really, you wanna make it through so that these are poking out a little bit, maybe a couple millimeters. You don't wanna go all the way in because then you're gonna be going super deep into the leather and the top part of your pricking iron will be super fat and the bottom will be you know, blown out maybe, who knows. But you wanna go in just enough so that you can pull it out nicely and not have to wiggle it out like crazy. So you also wanna make sure that you're not bottoming these teeth out. So you're not gonna be making things like belts or big holsters or things that are gonna be, you know, like three times 10 ounce leather because you're just not gonna make it all the way through. These are not designed for that. These are more designed for watch straps, wallets, journals, not anything that's gonna be bottoming these things out. Just keep that in mind. So if you're having trouble pulling these things out of your leather, you can actually kind of prick these into some sort of a wax, whether that's beeswax or paraffin wax, and it'll greatly help you take them out. Just a quick tip that helps a lot. Obviously, one last thing, uh, you just don't wanna drop these things. Um, if you drop them, they're liable to break or snap or whatever. You wanna kinda keep them in a spot that is not gonna be close to the edge of your table or prone to fall. So this case is a perfect little spot to put your irons after you're not using them. Obviously that's common sense, but just thought I'd mention it. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about punching pads or punching mats and what to use and what's preferred and what's not. So again, it all goes into how are you gonna take that pricking iron out of your leather after you've slammed it in there with your mallet. So soft punch mats are not the greatest idea because after you go through your leather and after you go through the mat, you're going farther in and trying to wiggle them out as you take them out. And it's not necessarily good for the teeth again. What I recommend and what will cause less blowout from the back, a cutting board, you know, those ones that you can use from the kitchen, or something like this, like I mentioned before, a clicker die press pad or whatever it is, that's a lot harder. And that'll stop your pricking iron from going too far into the mat. Another problem you'll have when you're using a softer mat is that when you're pricking through this, and you're hitting it really hard, it'll go through the mat real easily and then potentially hit your table or hit your marble slab or whatever you're using underneath and dull the teeth. What I recommend is a harder punch pad, a nice scrap piece of leather, and then your project on top of that. It'll also stop your project from getting scratched from the punch pad if you have that piece of leather. And you can just, just like that and you've got your nice little holes there. That's definitely the thing I recommend for using these pricking irons. It'll prevent your teeth from breaking, from going in too far and wiggling your teeth out. So the last thing I wanna talk about is maintenance. And maintenance is one of those things that you will have to do if you've used your irons for a long time and you feel like they're not as sharp as they used to be. Every so often when you feel like you need it, you can polish your teeth. What I recommend is a very high grit paper. This is a 3000 grit paper. And what you can do is just place your iron in a vise or a clamp or your stitching pony and then just go in between your teeth with some high grip paper. After you've done that to your heart's desire, you don't want to hone it too much or else you might change the shape of your teeth. You can then strop it on your strop just to remove any excess micro burrs that build up on those teeth. You'll find that after polishing your teeth, everything goes a lot smoother. 
Obviously, if something is sharper, it's gonna work better. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been instructional and I hope it's been a help to you um, just with your general use of pricking irons. If you have any questions about these irons, please leave them in the comments below and I will try and answer them as best as I can. Guys, thanks again for supporting Little King Supply Co. And I really hope you have a great time making things with your new pricking irons. All right, guys, have a good one. Be safe and God bless. Peace.